we're going to look at is the yeah what we are going to work on is defining your geometry and how to uh like you will be doing your own simulations so for today's uh, or this workshop i have a device like this basic model where we have uh, this outer if you see closely uh, this uh, outer white uh, box is the world box and uh, yeah. above this white box is another box that is acting as a water sh uh, as a lead shield and uh, then yeah, this uh, sand box is filled with air and in this air there is a uh, iodine 125 seed on seed mm -hmm. uh, that is used for ldr brachytherapy then this yellow mesh is actually a water phantom in which uh, i have divided into voxels of 0.3 millimeter side okay, okay. and yeah. we will be looking at like what are the components how you set in uh, topaz and then we will move to topaz website because uh, i didn't want to do I wanted to prepare presentations, but sometimes, you know, they make changes in the code. And if you stick to mm -hmm. my presentation and you will be really confused, like what I'm looking at, what I was taught and what's there. So it would it is always best to go to their website and check for the details if you are confused about anything. So that's why okay. I didn't for future uh, Workshops will be directly accessing the website of Topaz and looking at the details like what is given there and how you set it in your input uh, input file or data file. Uh, simulation mm -hmm. settings. So I have created like uh, here, you, like you have your Topaz. I have my Topaz installation here. So if I go here, example, so I have created a new folder with the Topaz training. So let me open the terminal. So if you see, I have three files. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, don't worry about this one. We'll, uh, I will explain this later. And uh, okay. topaz workshop text. This is something we will be working on. And uh, this is uh, another uh, those re file reader. It's, and that I have designed using a Python. Uh, so we'll look at, at the last part of our workshop, like how you extract the output and uh, uh, do the visualization of your results based on what you need. Okay. So okay. let's dive, dive into our input file. So this is what you will look when when you start designing your input file you will be designing something like this so okay. initially you will define some of the computational parameters like what type of viewer you want to use how many seeds threads so we will look i will explain this and from the uh, topaz work, uh, website on this like seed and what is seed what are number of threads and uh, uh, then you are going to define your material, like whether you want to define a tumor or any kind of polymer or ledge, uh, like here. Uh, it's a shield base. What kind of shield base you want, like the box that I meant uh, for shielding. Yeah. And then is the you place your uh, source. So first you need to create create a box of or you don't need to create a box here i have created a box and inside it i will place the seat okay, okay. and uh, generally it will be if you will be doing a, a brachytherapy simulation in that case you will need something like this for instance here i just created a box and inside that box i place the seat but maybe in uh, your case you will be defining some kind of implant and in which you will be placing the seeds. So that's why I created this box so that you get an idea of the parallel geometry. So 
And uh, then there is uh, this box, I called it the tumor box. So it's nothing but just a box with the, you see, if you define a box, you define its type. What, what is its parents? Parent means uh, with the bigger volume inside which it is placed. Mm -hmm. And uh, then what is its material? I defined the general, I took it a uh, tumor material composition from ICRP website. So mm -hmm. the, I placed it, uh, the name uh, material as tumor material. And if you go up and see the tumor material, so we define like a fraction normalized. So that uh, normalized fractions, that is basically when you provide the, um, mass fraction of each component so topaz will automatically normalize them and will make their sum one so this actually means this and uh, it is like built from material so built from material we will look from the website uh, so, uh, just in few minutes and uh, then you you have to define your density that is very important so basically, for defining any material, you need to define whether you want to normalize the fractions and whether you want to build from other materials or not. It's actually not compulsory, this one. And uh, main three things you have to define is one is whether to normalize, then the components and fraction, and also the density. What is the density of your material? So you need to define these four things for your simulation if you define want to define your own material. Otherwise, we'll see like there are some basic material which are taken from Gen4, so you can directly use them. Like for instance, here's like uh, hydrogen, ca carbon, nitrogen, uh, oxygen, sodium, uh, potassium, phosphorus, yeah, something like that. And even you can uh, directly use material like water, so or air. So these you don't need to define. They are already defined in Topaz and uh, and in Gen4. And I like I showed you uh, in the last video. There are data files that we downloaded when we installed Topaz. So these data files already create and uh, contain information about these material. So you don't need to do them yourself. So once you define your basic uh, computational settings, material, and uh, basic geometries like uh, the base, placement, tumor, then you need to define your physics. Physics. Mm. Yep. So what kind of physics you want to use here, uh, like for each kind of uh, application if you are working with the high energy uh, photon um, 6 mv linear accelerator you will be using different kind of physics list and then your cut off electrons and the cut for gamma will be a bit different you won't be concentrating on rj electrons or this kind of cascades because uh, in that case they are not available that much Right, because you are shooting from outside and these parameters change. For very small simulations like of micrometric dimensions, maybe you are interested in OJ electrons and OJ cascades. So it does uh, depend on what kind of application you are doing. We'll look at it in, in our future sessions in detail on this. Okay. Next is uh, when you define your source, like I said, we'll be simulating a iodine 125 source. So what happens is uh, you see closely that um, this, um, this seed is not just a single uh, material. I show you, let me run the yeah. simulation. So this is, uh, like I said, uh, I created a a simulation setup for our uh, workshop. So let me open this and show you how to run and what it can actually contains. Okay, terminal at the folder. So PWP. Okay. So we just have to go to. So this is how you run the simulations. 
So if you have uh, like see, let me show you first this thing. Uh, here is my Topaz folder. OK, you will have okay. yours. And if you go into Topaz, there is a bin folder. Bin folder contains the Topaz executable like you have uh, uh, in Windows, any kind of um, software you want to install. So there is kind of executable file. So this is okay. the executable okay. file that we will use for our executing our simulations. So don't touch it. Don't do anything to, with this. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you won't be um, able to run simulations and you will have to reinstall the pass. So don't touch most any of these uh, framework except the examples and uh, extension folder is something that we will see in future like what it means maybe but uh, I aim this workshop to be very beginners so we'll not be touching these things actually. So the folder that are of our concern right now are bin and examples. So let's go to examples of a training folder. So it has three files that I've created. So and when you see LS, so you'll see those three files only. So let's run it. Uh, bin. So the, by these you actually step down. Like for instance, if you see closely here. Uh, is it visible now? Yes, it is. So if you see, let me do the clear. So okay. I got into our Topaz training folder and you see uh -huh. there are four files. And now there is another file um, command called PWD. So uh -huh. PWD actually tells you in which directory you are and what is its path. So if I do PWD, so it says Topaz. Topaz is my folder where uh, my Topaz is installed. Then there is a file uh, a directory inside it that is named as examples. And inside this example is the Topaz training uh, directory. So all you have to go do is like you have to step them down two times. So by this, this command is you step down a folder down. So you are moving from Topaz training to examples now. You are in examples. So we want one step down more. So we go down. So like I said, in Topaz, there is a bin directory inside which there is executable of Topaz. So we go into bin and we execute Topaz. So this is what we need. OK, this is how you run your okay. Topaz example. And uh, then you run Topaz workshop dot text. So it will start running Topaz on your system. And you see, this is the sim exact simulation geometry that I was telling you. And uh, here, uh, when you see these are the control parameters, I've set like how many photons you want to run. So this is the. Uh, uh, I have set to 1 billion, but for uh, initial, we won't need 1 billion. So today, let's go with 100. OK. Uh, I'll show you this here. First, I wanted to show you this. So in my view, we actually get information about all the components of ge our geometry that we have defined. So first is the axis. So we have a x axis, y axis, and z axis. So it shows this. Uh, uh, provides information on the axis that is like uh, uh, starts from 0, 0, 0 and its length is 10 mm. And then is our touchables. Touch touchables are basically our geometries that we have defined. So uh, in touchables, we have like these informations. We have uh, our radioactive cylinders. So like I said, uh, when you define different geometries uh, for seed, we have like three things. One is a cylinder, then there is a end of a, like if you see, let me remove these things out of it. It's kind of stuck, but uh, I want to show you the 
uh, different components that we have simulated in each uh, uh, component, like uh, for the dose grade or the seed world or the world. So, oops, seems like it's a stuck. Let me rerun it. So, this is it. So, this is. Uh, let me remove all of this. Seems like it is too heavy right now, and this is how why it is uh, not taking this kind of like I want to remove this uh, everything and just show you a single component. It's strange that it's happening on my computer. Okay. Okay, anyways, I will show you basically I want to wanted to show you that uh, there are like uh, this single uh, seed is not made up of uh, just one one component. It is divided. In, it is simulated from several components like uh, cylinder. Then there are half spheres that were attached at the um, attached on the sides of the seed. And uh, there is some material that is placed inside that is the radioactive material. So I uh, will see in the input file and here is the input file. So you see uh, here I've defined the active seed and it has several like uh, there is a radioactive cylinder that is placed inside and then there is a left end and the right end in the form of a, a sphere or cone. And then there is another radioactive uh, cylinder placed inside which contains the radioactivity. So it is not just made from single component. It has a series of components joined together to design the design a seed. So in future, if you will be doing brachytherapy, so you will need this how to define your source. And for your initial beginning, there are examples of the seeds that uh, Topaz is already providing you. Uh, so if I show you brachytherapy, it should be here. Yeah. So there are uh, sources that they have already provided you like LDR, iodine 125, and you can directly use the seed uh, uh, designs because they are already validated. Perfect. So I have shown you the what we are going to simulate and what it actually looks like and how you can run your simulations and what is its input file looks like. So let's go back to our um, 